What's going on, guys? Shane D here, your best friend in the entire world. And how the hell are you doing? Are you doing good? We're back with, I want to say, possibly some heavy, extreme, maybe God fleshy, electronic uh, stuff. I don't know for sure, but I'm going to say that it might be. The only reason I know this is because this name, Blood from the Soul, popped up. And then I noticed that it was Shane Embry, the bass player, for Napalm Death in it. And if you know anything about the extreme metals, if you know anything about Napalm Death, you know that they were fans of kind of industrial and uh, and like the heavy electronic music. And so I'm thinking this is some kind of a side project with Shane Embry and some other fellas. So this song popped up. And, and they must be a newer band, I'm thinking, because the numbers are really low here. But I saw Fang Tooth Claw, and I said, damn, I want to hear that. And it's got a very low um, number of, uh, of plays on it, and I think this might be a brand new project with Shane Embry. Or he could not be in it at all. I don't know, but we're going to get to the bottom of that right now, because we're going to learn about Blood from the Soul, then listen to the song Fang Tooth Claw. All right? So let's do that. Uh, Blood from the Soul have 16,152 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. The image for the album is popping up as their image, so I'm assuming this is, might be their only album, uh, but I could be wrong. But So let's find out. Um, all five of the tracks, the top fivers here, are from this record that, that we're looking at today, and that record is called DSM-5. DSM-5. Uh, you have, in the number one slot with 13,000 plays, Calcified Youth. Then you've got number two, 16,000 plays with Debris, Debris of Dreams. I always want to put that S on there, Debris. Debris of Dreams. Uh, then the song we're doing today, Fang Tooth Claw, because I just love that title. That sounds like something that's going to be biting and punchy and angry or something. And that's got only 2,176 plays. You've got Subtle Fragment, 1,900 plays and ascend, ascend the Spine. It's got 1,580 plays. So really new stuff here. Let's look into albums. Have they done anything at all? They have one album. So this is kind of a project that he, maybe they did early because they've got one album. It's called uh, uh, 2000, uh, from 2009 called To Spite. Okay, it's a long title. To Spite the Gland That Breeds. Huh. And that was released in uh, March of 2009. Um, and then, is this DSM-5 an album? It is. Released November 2020. So they've only released two albums, this, this project, this band, these people, this thing that we're looking at today. Now we look into related artists for this band. This is going to give us kind of a hint of where, we, where you would fit them in, what, what's going on with it and such. And right out of the gate, a name that I have not seen in a, in a hundred years, Meat Hook Seed. And I believe that was Shane Embry. And uh, it was, I thought it had a guy from Obituary in it. And I thought it had a couple guys from, from uh, Carcass or something. Uh, yeah, Meat Hook Seed is a band I have not heard. Then you got Dead World. And then there they are, Godflesh, which I love me some Godflesh. Then you got the mighty, the gods of uh, all grindcore, right? Napalm Death. Uh, no More 164, that's, that's intriguing to me. Mal Havoc, Mal Havoc. Then you got the guys from Brutal Truth. Scorn, I remember Scorn, they had a good song or two. Uh, Venomous Conce Concept, Venomous Concept, Cable Regime, and Coalesce, and the band 16. Huh, is this, um, this sounds like it might be some kind of a, a super group uh, of the lower, uh, kind of the more heavier end of things. Uh, there is no uh, image for the band, so I'll have to hunt something down. I did see an image of two fellas, and one of them was the plump uh, uh, fella Shane Embry that uh, plays bass and has the, 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 the long hair, and then there's just this kind of regular guy standing there, so I'll put that up. Uh, Blood from the Soul is the vision of legendary musician Shane Embry, longtime member of Extreme Pioneers, uh, uh, Extreme Pioneers, Napalm Death. In the early 90s, Embry partnered with Lou Caller, sick of it all, to, to create Blood from the Soul debut, despite Hands That Breed, Earache, 1993. The album was an experimental fusion of industrial, metal, hardcore, and punk. And along with Godflesh, Pitch Shifter, Meat Hook Seed, and Scorn, they helped spawn a new wave of industrial metal. Fast forward to 2020, 
and blood from the soul has awakened from their hypersleep, joining Embry on this new creative journey are now, oh, we've got a lineup of the members, Dirk Verbieren, Megadeth, Cadaver, uh, Bent C, and Soilwork. Um, you've got Jacob Bannon from Converge, Umbra, Umbra Vitae, uh, Wear Your Wounds, and Jesper Liverrod from Nasum and Burst. So there you have that. A lot of those bands I didn't know the names of, but now I want to go and uh, check some of that stuff out because I am a fan of Godflesh, and uh, I do remember Scorn having a few. I did see Pitch Shifter once live, and um, I got kicked out of the club, and they, they were out there after the thing, and they gave me a, they gave me a uh, hoodie or something or a hat or something. But uh, it's time now to listen to Fang Tooth Claw from Blood From The Soul. I always want to say blood from the stone, but it's not that. It's blood from the soul. Or, blood, yeah, blood from the soul. So, Jesus, uh, this is the magic titty. Takes us into the world of blood from the soul. Fang tooth claw. I give you a taste. I take a taste. We listen together. See what we think. We'll be the 2,177th person to hear this song, I guess. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Just that heavy. I like the guy's voice. Right there. Nice and heavy, this is what you go Christmas shopping to. Put the earbuds in and watch people tear each other apart for the new Teddy Ruxpin. Definitely got a groove for a heavy, elect, you know, industrial-ish kind of sound. I like this. And I like the, the volatile growl of this guy. I love it. I only you saying that the second time.
I like it. I think it's great. That is such a great riff. That's great. We got to Yes, indeed. Blood from the soul. What's this subtle fragment? I am going to go listen to that album DSM-5. Uh I highly enjoyed that. I love that stuff. I'm a huge fan of that old school uh uh Godflesh stuff like Street Cleaner and stuff like that and and uh Napalm Death and uh there's a lot of other bands that were kind of in that kind of industrial extreme metal thing, but I can't I can't put my mind to who they are. But what say you that you can put that in the comments below? That'd be wonderful. And then I've got a bigger list to go and uh and check out of this kind of stuff. But uh, the most important part of this video is your comments. You tell me what you thought of that song. Good, great, fantastic. Shane, I am familiar with that band. I have actually seen them live once or uh uh, let me tell you all about that first album that they released and how great it is. Here's my favorite songs. Here's my favorite uh, uh, portions of that. And uh, uh, or you can you can say, Shane, it's not my cup of tea. It's too aggressive. It's too crazy. It's too the man is too angry. That's singing. It's not my cup of tea, and I don't want any more. Everything is fine. Opinions are great. Different opinions are okay in this world. If you haven't, if you don't know that, if this is something that's completely new to anyone out there. It's okay to have a different opinion and say, you know what, I'm not okay with this kind of music. I'm, I, I just wasn't a fan of it. It didn't hit me. I'm having my morning tea, and it was not good for me. Uh, so that's the most important part. If you have a hard rock, a heavy metal special request, you want to see it on the channel, you want to shout out a thumbs up to you, or a first listen, uh, click the link in the description below and get a hold of me and say, hey, howdy ho. Uh, that's all I've got for this. Like, comment, subscribe, and be my friend if you can do that. I love you so damn much. I do. I, I love you, and I love that. Uh, that's all I've got for this. Blood from the stone. Jesus, I did it, didn't I? Blood from the soul. Mm -hmm.